Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the great gathering of the highly favored ones. We are in the West Coast National Park today, and it is flower season. Good morning, Chili. Good morning, Uncle Ronald. It is just dope, amazing, awesome, and cool to be here. Do you know, Uncle Ronald, that this is my first road trip? Your first road trip, Chili? Wow! So you have never been to a national park before, or behold a sight like this? Never, Uncle Ronald. It is so beautiful, all these flowers. Just look at them. I truly feel like a favorite one today, because it is just straight fire. Straight fire, Chili? Yes, straight fire. That is when something is just better than all the rest. Well, yesterday you were in New Vaudeville, where you saw the quiver forest. Do you know why it is called the quiver tree, Chili? Of course, Uncle Ronald. I read it is called the quiver tree because the sand people used it in the making of their arrows. And also, you saw fields full of flowers. What were you thinking of when you saw all these flowers, Chili? Well, the first thing I thought of was that God just loves beauty. He thought of all these colors and variety. He just abundantly blesses us. Yes, God truly loves beauty. When God looked at what he made in the beginning, he called it good. A person could also say, God saw everything that he made, and he saw that it was beautiful. And did you know, Chili, that God designed clothes, especially for Aaron, for glory and beauty. It is written in Exodus 28 verse 2, And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, for glory and for beauty. Yes, God truly loves beauty. And that is why we must also keep God's earth beautiful. We must not throw our papers around, but keep God's earth clean and beautiful. It is our responsibility. Anything else you thought of, Chili? Well, I also hear people talking of beautiful children. Usually, they say that when children are friendly, loving, helpful. I have never heard someone call a child beautiful when all the time he throws tantrums and is selfish. Well, God makes us also beautiful by giving us supernatural powers so that we can be loving, joyful, yes, peace-loving. That is the fruit of the Spirit that we can experience in our lives. Yes, Jesus took our punishment for our sin, and when we believe in Him, we are not just forgiven, but we are given the strength to say to no to sin and to start living, loving, peaceful lives. Well, Uncle Ronald, what did you think of when you saw all these beautiful flowers? Well, Chili, this year, there was lots of rain, and that is why there is so many flowers. But it is not like this every year. Some years there is hardly any rain, then there is no flowers. Other years there is much less than this year. Also, in about three weeks' time, there will hardly be any flowers left for the people to look at. And this made me think of a verse from the Bible, it is written in Isaiah 40 verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. The flower seasons come and go, some seasons more beautiful than other seasons, but God's word never changes. 
His promises is new every morning. He loves us with an everlasting love. And many times people wanted to destroy God's word, the Bible, but they could not. Yes, Uncle Ronald, it is so true. I am sure there is many people that would have loved to go on a road trip like the one I am now on and see the sights that I am seeing now, but they can't. And that is sad. But no one can say, it is impossible for me to know God, to know Jesus. For Jesus made a plan that we can know him and live with him forever. He was punished on the cross in our place for our sins. And when we believe in him, we are forgiven. And we are changed to become like Jesus and to know Jesus is the most beautiful thing that can happen to a person.